Hello and welcome to 2021. Hello! So today I thought I was going to go through my goal setting and what has helped me. If we had plans for 2020, they clearly didn't happen, but 2021, I'm feeling a lot more positive about that. So I thought that for 2021, I'm actually going to get on this whole new year goal setting wave. I don't usually believe in it because I feel like if you're going to do something, why not just do it now? You know what I mean? But I thought, you know what? It actually is really is a new year for me. I decided on New Year's Eve that I'm moving across the world, so I'm excited about that one. So I figured, what do I want this year? Because I actually set goals for last year and I think I kind of kind of achieved them actually. So pretty happy about that one. Anyways, these are just my two cents on goal setting and it's really up to you how you interpret it and it's also up to you what you decide to do with it. So the first part of goal setting is, of course, you have an idea of what you maybe want, but there are different areas in which these goals are. So rather than writing an enormous list of all the different things you want to do, I found it's better to actually start off with the areas that you're going to focus on this year. So, for example, for me, I want to focus on freelancing and entrepreneurship. I also want to work on my physical health. I want to get back into shape. I want to start working out again. Um, I also want to focus on my dreams for life. I want to really make up the focus that this year, if I want to, I'm dreaming about something, I'm going to do it this year. So that's how I split it up into areas. So one way I actually did that, because I've already done mine, um, was I wrote out all my focuses. And then here I've like circled all of them with different colors. So like this part, I did different colors, which helped me to get it into four different areas. Um, I also have like my motto, <laughs> motto, my mantra for 2021, which says, uh, know what you want and don't let anything stop you basically. Because I feel like I've been too careful about going after what I want. And now I'm like, I'm going to be 23 soon. I know what I want. <laughs> yes, I had a crisis. And I thought, oh my gosh, 23, that is a quarter of my life. Basically, when you're thinking of how to write your goal, there are several different um, tips I can give you. So first of all, you want your goals to be pretty like shoot for the stars because you don't need to be so modest with yourself. You're literally, your mind is the limit with what you can achieve. It's only in your mind that barriers exist to your goals. However, you do have to be realistic in terms of, in terms of your time frame. So if you want to be like a six figure business owner, sure. Your mind is the limit, go for it, shoot for the stars, but just remember that in probably one year, if you're starting from zero, that may or may not be possible. It could be possible, but it's better to be realistic. You could say like that you want to be earning like a couple of thousand bucks a month consistently, like on average per month, for, you know, you could get to that. Start there, I would say. If you have a rough image of what you wanted, which is what I had, start to make it more specific because you cannot, one thing people do when they make goals is to say, oh, I want to just finish my studies well. Well, how are you going to measure if you achieve that at the end of the year? And how are you going to keep up, uh, keep track of your progress? If you're not specific, and if you don't know what you want, then how are you going to get that? Because if you can't imagine it, then it is not going to magically appear for you, my friend. Be super clear. Writing something down as if you already have it is really helpful. For example, when I was starting my YouTube channel and I was just brainstorming and working up the guts to do it, I was like, oh, um, I have a YouTube channel. It's uh, I'm posting all the time. I'm working on it all the time, even though I wasn't yet. And that really helped me to prime myself to get into the mindset that, yes, I am actually I have a YouTube channel. I'm doing it now. So by the end of 2020, my goal was to start my channel and really start posting on it. And I think I did that. The next tip is to set goals that are measurable and time trackable. I did vaguely mention that already. Basically, if you set a goal, of, um, I want to do well in my studies and finish my studies. Let's just say you're graduating in September. First, then your first goal is to graduate in September because you obviously want to finish on time. If you want to do your studies well, you can also look at what you have left for the year and you could say, I have these areas or I want my grades to be all at least a B and you can then say, hey, I have to get this grade by this time, I'm getting this grade at this date, and I'm finishing on this date. And you can start to write them down based on the months. And once you've done this for each goal, then you can have like 
more goals that are actually also for the months. So if you've got other areas where you have things to finish by January, you have things to finish by March, um, then you can have your goals actually set out as a year view. And then you can, at the end of that period, you can actually check if you're on track with them so that when you get to the end of 2021, because after all, these are goals for 2021, you can see if you achieved everything. Another tip on how to look at your goals is on one hand, don't just expect things to happen because you wrote them as a goal and maybe you already wrote them in the present tense, I am very fit or something. But at the same time, don't be too focused on exactly how you're gonna get there. So if you're thinking, I'm gonna get very fit because I'm gonna lose this many kilos and I'm gonna gain this much muscle and I'm gonna work out this many times, you're focusing on only one way of how it can work out and you're not actually letting other ways of things working out for you just to appear in your life. For example, there could be a different way to get fit, but if you're so focused on one way, you're just blocking out everything else. So do keep that in mind. And in the end, don't forget that making goals is supposed to make you feel good. It's supposed to make you excited, so don't put too much pressure on them. You want to achieve them, be serious about what you want, but don't put too much pressure on them that they start scaring you off. Like, oh, I have to, I have to be like a super fit by the end of the year. I have to achieve my goal. You know what I mean? Take a look at your goals and make goals that feel really authentic to yourself and not what you think you should be doing or what you have the impression that others might think you should be doing. Just make goals that feel good for yourself. So if you're thinking, okay, these are great tips, but I don't know what I want. I don't know what my goals are. Well, if you followed this at all, so if that's your focus, then you can go, okay, I want to look at this. And what I've actually done, I ripped out a piece of paper and I wrote each area of my life on the paper. I've actually got them sitting on my wall over there um, for a week. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've got a pen also blue tacked to the wall and I'm just gonna write down like as I go and I'm like, oh, I want this for my YouTube. So I'm just gonna write on the paper. By the end of the week, you have like a mind map of everything you want in that area. And it means that you can make really good goals for the year because you've really thought about it. Anyways, that was just my thoughts on goal setting for 2021. I think it's gonna be a great year for all of us. We've had 2020 is a complete bunker down to figure out what we want and be really with ourselves. I think a lot of people did their own personal reflection and growth in 2020. So 2021 is really the year where you're gonna go, last year didn't go to plan. I want this year to go to plan for me. This is what I wanna do. This is what I wanna achieve. Anyways. Shoot for the stars, your mind is the limit, and go for it. Good luck with it. I hope this little wisdom of mine helped, and see you next time. Bye!